Hello everybody, this is a tutorial for open board. So this uh, I have up, uh, already opened the website of the open board. So you can click this uh, official website of the open board that and uh, you can download the software according to your uh, PC or laptop configuration from this website. So this will be the uh, layout of the open board. So let me tell about this. So here in this left side, you will see all the pages that you have made on the right hand side will be the resources that you have saved or you have uh, imported and uh, the upper one, this is a stylus bar and this is the stylus to toolbar. <coughs> if you click stylus uh, button here, so this toolbar will disappear and if you click it again, it will appear on this toolbar, you have various uh, options that is pen it is a eraser and it is a highlighter and other things which you which are self explanatory and uh, if you click this gear icon you can see there are uh, page size cut copy paste others we can see just preferences in the preferences you can see the stylus palette can be made horizontal as well as vertical if i make it vertical it will appear here if i make horizontal it will appear at the bottom so you can see this is the stylus toolbar it has appeared on in the vertical direction otherwise it will appear in the horizontal direction and uh, you can <coughs> make other changes so i just uh, uh, think this uh, this is the only uh, change which i find that needs to be changed if uh, somebody is not comfortable with the horizontal toolbar Otherwise, all other settings for me, these are okay. These are the grid settings. These are the pen size settings, marker size settings. And uh, this is uh, uh, about the software. It is a totally open, <coughs> it is a totally free software. And it is an open source software. So there is no problem of uh, using it, installing. And uh, you can use it without any limitations. So, <coughs> We, I will uh, just uh, save these um, settings so I am comfortable with the horizontal toolbar now this is here pen style so you pen pen uh, color you can see if I click the black and uh, I just write here anything this color will be black and if I click here on the red part and I write here something the color of the pen will change to red on the other hand if i click here then the size of the or the thickness of the line will increase for example you can see so this line size is uh, better and if you click here the line size will further increase and uh, you can increase it so this is the line size Similarly, you can have eraser if you want to erase only small portion You can use eraser from the toolbar if you want to clean whole of the page You just click this button whole of the page will become clear and uh, Whatever is written on the page. It will be deleted at once if you have written. Let us say something uh, Let me change it to pen if you have written something on the toolbar and your page is now completed you have given some lecture you have made some shapes or you have written anything mathematical part or anything else you know your page is uh, completed and you want to write more on the next slide then just click this button pages so new page will appear and you can continue your discussion here so you can go to this is our page number two now there are <coughs> some resources you can click some if you want to show to your students some audio you can click uh, import an audio here and if you pull it then you can see okay the audio is uh, playing and uh, if you go to this uh, uh, if you want to show some video you can click here and you can click the play button so this video is playing if you want to increase the size of the screen 
you can just click anywhere and these the size can increase and if you want to just decrease it you can decrease it like this if you want to delete this from the page you can click here and any uh, resource you want to just click it its toolbar will be visible and you can delete it so on the other hand if you want to uh, import let us say this is the actually default video and default audio stored here in the resources page you click home page here there are other folders also where you can place appropriate um, files like movies audios pictures animations etc but you can click here you can click show desktop okay this is my recording folder i can just click this uh, i can just drop this video drag this video and place here in the movies folder if i double click it here then you can see now there are two video files one was the default the other that i have imported if you want to delete any file you just drag it and move it up to the recycle bin which is at the bottom then you can delete that similarly you can do for audio files and other files if, uh, if you want to come back to the whiteboard you can click this whiteboard icon here it is you can see if you give, um, take the cursor of your mouse uh, here it is saying that show open board you click it the open board will be shown on the other hand you if you want to <coughs> show your uh, students uh, some internet uh, or some animation you can click here web then uh, it will show me the web browser it is within the uh, open board now you can see here you can search google so you can search anything let us say i want to show lc oscillations animation to the students let us say i am delivering lecture about lc oscillations and and i want to show to the students what are lc oscillations so you can click here videos and animation and uh, this is uh, everything will be visible within the open board to the students now it is due to the slow internet as you can see this video has started so i will not please the... now if you click this button again you will again reach to the uh, this uh, open board interface and uh, <coughs> whatever let us say i have given one lecture today another lecture uh, a day earlier and if i want to see where are my documents you can click that document folder now you can see these documents are automatically named with the date so if you click any uh, let us say uh, document here it will show what was recorded what you did on that day uh, on this uh, open board so this is a very simple and uh, uh, self explanatory tool and it is very useful for the teachers so this is uh, something which i wanted to share with you i hope uh, by using this you will be able to prepare your lectures on the open board thank you thanks a lot